Jamila. I'm representing the MFAM team. I think the word speaks for itself, MFAM. So I'm going to take a different approach from what my colleagues did. If you have a mobile phone, please send MFAM mails to 4474, then you get the answer. So that's what we were able to come up in the 48 hours today. Our application is about targeting the farmers. We have 5 million farmers in Kenya, whether small scale or large scale. And the cry of the farmer is not news to anybody who is sitting here and has been watching television or have, has been following the news. These people have been crying, and I'm sure some of you are going to ask me, what is the difference between the existing, practically, what my friends have already presented just before me, and our system? So, most of the people who are doing this, they are our competitors, do not care about the farmer. All they care about is giving them information. We care about the farmer. What we want to do is, we want to interconnect the farmers so that they can be having a forum of their own, sharing information among themselves, encouraging collaboration between themselves so that they can be able to sell together, buy together, so that they can be fighting these people, the middlemen who are ripping off their wealth. Their, their wealth. That is the strength of MFAM. The next thing that MFAM has, and it's very unique to MFAM, to the best of our knowledge, is we are going to give them not only market prices, but also weather updates. Because most of our farmers are suffering because of flood, because of drought, and because of not preparing for this. So, how are we going to do this? Why MFAM? Who are we targeting? We are not only targeting farmers, but we are also targeting other organizational or institutional bodies, like the NGOs. So, for example, if a service provider is sending an update to a farmer, we are not going to do that. We are taking another approach whereby we will be holding information. We are going to create a directory of the farmers, and we hold that information so that NGOs, government bodies, by the way, they are going to carry out census in 2012, 2013, agricultural census that is going to cost them a lot, so if we have a directory of farmers, then they can benefit from that and give us a little bit uh, money, which is going to cost them less than what they would have done if they carried out that census. The business model here that we are looking at is we are targeting 10,000 farmers in the first one year, and they're going to pay for subscription, monthly subscription or per use subscription, then we're going to charge them through the IVR, they're going to pay premium, premium rates, and we're going to use embedded adverts. Thank you.